Okay, so we're out here with this uh, this thing that does not have a name. It's one of these uh, hybrid rocket uh, electrics like I've been doing. So I've got the, the quick release uh, motor mount. Um, and we're running on a two cell 300. Uh, one of the Spectrum style uh, brushless bricks. Designed this thing this morning uh, with the help of Dan Cruz basically telling me what I was doing wrong. And uh, yeah, it looks, uh, looks pretty cool. So uh, hopefully we won't destroy it. Just mud on the nose, so we can go again. After I deal with that. Try that again. Ha. Maybe a little underpowered then. Yeah, part of that's your prop saver. Yes, it's it is. Buzzing a bit much. And sadly, I got water on the lens. No! Sorry, folks. All right, well, how about I land it and then we'll... <laughs> Problem. Or fix, well, something. He says he's got water on his lenses. I've got them on mine, too. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, flies pretty good. Um, needs a little trim adjustment, and we'll get a little more power once I can get rid of that vibration. Um, that is probably not the right propeller for for this setup, but uh, flies all right, and it's light enough that it should fly nicely on sea engines too. But uh, I don't know that we're going to do that today because it's icky out here. So see y'all later. Alright, here goes. Wow, that was sloppy. But you avoided the fence, that's what's important. I did. Oh yeah, that's hands off right there. Nice. That's uh, two-thirds throttle. Hands off, staying hands off, staying hands off. Starting to crank him a little. Uh, yeah, you, you need a little more prop on that bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> I will not loop.
Still a little twitchy. See if we can get a glide on camera. Definitely climbs faster with the prop balance. Power off. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think we've resolved pretty much all the issues. I mean, could use a more efficient prop. That's a bull nose uh, 3.5 by 4.5. But uh, other than that, looks like it's uh, pretty well good to go. So uh, next up, rocket power, I guess.